next session is on the go and for that our mentor judge is Ranveer Brar. Ranveer is one of our oldest friends, chefs at the Upper Cross show and you can't believe how happy I feel to see where Ranveer has reached today. So he's our next mentor, celebrity mentor judge. Thank you Ranveer for being here, taking time off. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, I'm looking forward to this. I've always believed in the power of the home kitchen and I'm looking forward to some fantastic food. I always say uh, the biggest problem uh, with us uh, chefs in white uniforms is that we're very intimidating and we tend to make people believe that we are really good and everybody should emulate us. And I think as home chefs, the strengths are completely different. The strengths are the boutique nature of it. The strengths are the emotion that you put into it. Sometimes food for us becomes science and you know, producing 500, 600, 800,000 portions becomes a matter of pride. That's not what a home kitchen is supposed to do. Taking advice from a professional chef in order to scale up is the worst thing you could do being a home chef because if if you were trained to scale up you'd have scaled up you're trained to cook from the heart and every time you cook from the heart the value that you get for it you'd be surprised at what you can charge for it it is the same um, set of ingredients the same chula but the price that you put on the dish is directly proportional to the heart that has gone into the cooking then the real heart goes into uh, cooking in the home kitchen so don't get distracted by scaling up I need to figure out how to make 500 chapatis and 200 kilos of butter chicken like professional chefs you know make those 10 portions trust me they'll fetch you profits of 200 portions i promise that's all i have to say that's all i have to say is stay true to what you really really believe in scaling up and everything else commercializing is something that sounds all fancy but then it also makes you as good as the person next door and you're definitely better because you're you're unique and you're different as compared to the person next door that's the beauty of being a home chef don't go for large menus you know okay chalice dishes on it restaurant style ka menu dekhna uh, eventually even in a restaurant you just go back for those four or five dishes so if you've been able to crack those four or five dishes from your home kitchen stick to that and the consumer will allow you to change over a period of time so this round is uh, on the go schools are opening up college is opening up offices opening up we've all got used to having good food at home hot food at home and there's a bit of wariness about eating food outside our three home chefs they are going to show us dishes which can be prepared and people can take to work or school and still still enjoy it. So guys, your time starts now. I'm going to introduce, uh, you know, from this side, Pallavi Ambedkar. She uh, runs Flavors of Malwan. You'll find her on Instagram. Before the pandemic, she has done food pop-ups. Once the lockdown happened, then uh, she started running Flavors of Malwan from home. So huge hand to Pallavi. And uh, this is uh, Debanjan of Bhutu's Kitchen. Uh, he and his wife run it. He was earlier in marketing. He was also working in the jewelry business for marketing and all of that. Then the lockdown happened and he and his wife always wanted to do something in food. So they started from home and they're trying to do Bengali food of various types from West Bengal, East Bengal, Muslim cuisine, the club cuisine and all of that. So Supriya runs Oh My Feast and uh, she works in the corporate sector and she still does. She does food from Kerala, a bit from Mangalore. Her inspiration, her guru is her father-in-law. So sometimes men are also there behind successful women. Maharashtrian Malwani coastal food. We've got Bengal. We've got Kerala. Supriya is making a pepper chicken paratha roti. The village process, uh, which I learned it from my grandmom. I'm making kardi sukka. Kardi is basically small prawns. But I'm going to make a dry preparation because it's going to go in a roll. And obviously it's going to be Malwani kardi sukka roll. So all of them are doing different versions of uh, paratha based dishes because that's something which, which travels well. So they're using the Swiss uh, frozen parathas. cooking the beauty is the har ghar ka masala you know i know there's a malwani masala happening there there's a pepper chicken masala happening there you know i always say um, you go to a home and you you just go into the kitchen open their spice box and you get an idea of what the food's going to be like right like my mom used a lot of dhania so two dabbas were dedicated only to dhania you know so you look at a spice box of any house you'll get an idea ki inka khana jo hai aisa hota hoga spices in home cooks is a very very interesting study for me in itself you know spices are our, are our pride uh, the other day i was talking to 
Devan Gautam Anand and he was saying they found an old manuscript of the Roman civilization where uh, somebody is heard cursing the chef that he put so much black pepper that they have to pay as much in gold. So, you know, <laughs> spices have always been our pride and the world has always paid well for them and I don't think we should let go of that pride. I think it's about uh, intelligently using it. A lot of times we show off our pride too much to the West, especially restauranteurs. You know, we take pride in, hey, they go up, pasina chhut jayega. Then that's where things go wrong because the correct representation of the spice, like you said, is enhancement and not burning your palate. But we should not shy away from the use of spice and spice always doesn't necessarily mean hot spices, aromatic, earthy, and there are a lot many notes that you can create with spices. Chili is just one of them. And chili is not even ours anyways. Colors of the rainbow that make a rainbow, right? And I, that's what it is with food. Everybody's expression is key to this rainbow called food. And I think that's what it's always been. And that shouldn't change. We should all have the freedom to express ourselves through our food. Because uh, the entire idea of a culture going forward and storytelling going on through food shouldn't stop. Just ko jo kehna hai, kehna chahiye. Aur jab tak kehne ka madhyam khana hai, achha hai. It's good. the journey been of being a home chef and and you know this entire lockdown journey and now setting up your business uh, it's a little unreal actually never thought i would come this far but i'm glad i'm glad that the food has been appreciated and taken so well during lockdown you know like perhaps i've got nothing to do other than sitting either at home even i cannot go out so we thought like uh, bandra is a good place lot of eatery so we started something and it went up pretty well and uh, we are in places right now my food inspiration comes from my father in law who passed away in january this year and he was the only one because of which oh my feast started i learned cooking from him today what i cooked was a pepper chicken uh, paratha why i cooked that was because um, i wanted to do something which was the first uh, food that went out of my kitchen uh, two years back and that was pepper chicken and the fish curry it's not easy to just set up shop in a new place and uh, churn out food it's always difficult because you're used to your own uh, masale dani on the right that dabba on top and you know things just become very normal and natural especially cooking is about rhythm and flow and when the rhythm or flow breaks then obviously it is not the same thing you guys have done a fantastic job like i said you know this is t20 cricket you know competitions like t20 cricket you know uh, somebody's got to win so there is going to be a winner if i had to leave you with a few thoughts it's very easy to get carried away to hear conversations about fusion upgrading but what you really represent is is where you really from and whether it's fusion not fusion as long as in your heart you're representing where you're really from and you're telling those stories like they deserve to be told i don't know about the good business bit but you're doing great service to food you know and i think it's very important for all of us at the end of the day we eat this and we eat because of this uski service jo hai wo chalti rehni chahiye be true to the stories that you tell be true to your roots and have that peaceful good night sleep saying you know today i did service to this whole idea that i got into it in the first place that's that's the only thing i got to tell you and everybody who who wants to get into the home chef space that's all okay so here we go so supriya is the participant certificate yeah thank you another one uh, of the participant and the winner is you come on and if i may have the honor of um, adorning him with our evergreen star